The Ijo Youth Council has condemned the non-inclusion of Bayelsa State as part of states to benefit from the approved 21 roads to be constructed and rehabilitated by the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC. The federal government had approved 621 billion naira for the reconstruction and rehabilitation of 21 roads across the country by the NNPC. They faulted the decision, adding that the neglect of the state is an indication that it has never been on the framework of the corporation. However, it's among states in the top charts of petroleum activities in the country. It has not been planned properly. See, sometimes executive orders can be very dangerous. This one will help NNPC to steal well. This is the time for them to steal properly, because who will keep the books of record? Who will do it now? Who will question NNPC? Because I speak to you today. Bayasa is not there. And Bayasa, is Bayasa not a producing state? Do you want them to agitate before they are added? Because Bayasa even need to talk before they are added. They also frown at the level of hunger ravaging Nigeria, which has led to agitations in some parts of the country. The IYC president urged stakeholders to give youths and women more chance in piloting the affairs of the country. All of us in this country must now live with conscience. The youths are those who I have seen that had the greatest conscience, but unfortunately they are the most oppressed. The other section of people in this country that have had enough conscience and have borne the pain of Nigeria are the women. Very good. There is no proper policy in place. No policy statement from this government. They will say gender equality is a lie. Once it's not in reality, it's a lie. There are just three wonder solutions, which I pick from the holy books, the Quran and the Bible. Number one, justice. Equity. And integrity to exemplary life. Just combine these three things and make it obligatory to make it a way of life. These things will wipe away all the insecurity. It will wipe away all the cries of marginalization. It will enthrone good governance. Politicians and past military regimes fail to understand that by destroying the traditional institution that holds the values of the people, you are indirectly or directly destroying the nation. The IOIC president urged President Mohamed Buhari to, as a matter of urgency, inaugurate the board of the Niger Delta Development Commission. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.